got a special one for you today. I'd like to show you how to set up Quake 3 on Linux Mint. Bear with me, I'm going to have to check through my document here. The first thing I want you to do is go to the IO Quake 3 homepage and download this file, Linux Zip. Let me show you this really quick. Okay, you have to scroll down to find the link for Linux. Just click it. You're going to get this file here, linux.zip. I'm not going to be downloading this right now because I already have it. All my resources are right here. What I'm going to do is take this file to the games folder and unzip it right there. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to extract this one more time then. You're going to see I got this folder out of it, release-linux-x86-64. I'm going to rename this over to IOQuake3, it's easier. That and I've already got my scripting set up to work with that folder name specifically. Okay, that was step number two. Step number three and four. I'm going to show these to you, but I can't help you. The reason for this is these are commercial files. I happen to have files left over from old CDs from the 90s. So I'm going to minimize this, get this out of my way really quick. I have the files for Quake 3 and Team Arena. So what you want to do is take these and put these in the corresponding folders. They both have the same file name unfortunately so I can't put them in the same folder. Your next step is you want to extract Quake 3 point files and copy to their proper folders. Let me grab this URL really quick. I, want to, I need to show you this web page really quick. There's a reason. The file is hosted here, so you have to go to this web page and accept this end user license agreement from ID Software. So you scroll down here, you click I agree, and they send you this file. I've already got this, so as usual I'm not going to download it. Okay, you're going to see I got this folder out of that website. I'm just going to extract it here. Oh, here it is. Okay, let me scoot this over, minimize that, and everything is nicely organized in here. All you want to do is go into both base Q3 folders, drag these over to the game folder, do the same thing for mission pack. Without these files you won't be able to run it. Next we're going to want to download and extract the Quake 3 Neuro Upscale mod or whatever texture pack you prefer, but I'm only going to demo this one. There's a reason why. This texture pack is more for the purest player. You can There are much greater resolution texture packs that you can download, but they're not always going to be the original textures like this texture pack. In case you don't know, a neural upscale is when they take an already existing texture that's low resolution and upscale it with artificial intelligence. I'm going to show you where I got these. You don't have to download this particular one, but you can. I personally would recommend it because I think it's excellent.
There are higher resolution textures, but I still think the original textures are just really, really nice. You're looking at 265 megs for this one and the world textures, 850 megabytes. The object textures, approximately 74. Don't mean to be a broken record, but as usual, I've already downloaded these and I got them sitting right here in this folder. We are not going to copy those in because first I'd actually like to show you this without the high resolution textures. These are the scripts that I used to run it. Very, very simple scripting as, as I usually do. But this is the most important part here when it comes to running Team Arena. Plus set FS underscore game mission pack. That's the magic phrase. Let's go ahead and try one of these. Let's go ahead and try the first one. I just want you to see what it looks like without the textures. Unfortunately, I had to turn off the music. You know what, I'm just going to use skirmish mode here. That way I can look at these textures without being annoyed. I'm really more of a Quake 1 and 2 guy, not as much of a Quake 3 guy, because the bots in Quake 3 just annoy the crap out of me. Yeah, that's definitely low definition, it's not too sharp. Let's go ahead and try this with the textures and the models. tell already oh yeah oh yeah I love how sharp and clean everything looks nice That right there, I'm not really noticing a difference, but maybe it's better. I don't know, but everything else seems like it's better anyway. I almost forgot. Let's try Team Arena.
totally forgot to check my resolution just now. Good. You see, these textures are still blurry. It's not using the texture pack. But that texture pack's only for regular Quake 3, not Team Arena. What the heck? just going to look at that texture, but I screwed up. Okay, that's not working. I just pretty much wanted to show you this loads. That's about it. That's enough for now. I'd like to just say one more thing. This is multiplayer ready. You can go on there and play multiplayer right now, but most likely you're just going to be fighting against bots unless you actually find a channel with active people that are connected and playing. Sometimes you'll find a channel with people that are just spectating. So this is usually what you're going to see in the list. Uh, you just click any one of these and try to connect, but unless you're good, I wouldn't try to be joining servers with a lot of people because I have fought real humans on here and they are like way too good for me. Okay, I guess network settings isn't the one. There, there's this one setting you got to change. Okay, game options maybe. Uh, automatic downloading, that's it. You just gotta make sure that's set to on. Otherwise, it's just gonna crash a lot because it won't have the right map it needs. Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to show you in this video, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.